I've been trying to avoid acknowledging him, but at this point in time, that's just not possible anymore. The man in the trench coat, the investigative journalist, he finally made his move. For months now, he's been obsessed with investigating Akademi, but the headmaster has always refused him entry into the school. Up until now, that was enough to stop him. But recently, he found a loophole. Apparently, he's had an apprentice for a while now. She's a junior detective, and a former student of Akademi. Back when she was attending school here, she did something extraordinary. She solved a high-profile murder mystery that the police were struggling with. That accomplishment turned her into a national celebrity almost overnight. There was nothing more for her to gain from remaining enrolled in Akademi, so she left without graduating and quickly began a career as a junior detective. And now, one year later, she's back. She claims that she's here to finish her degree, but I can tell that there's more to the story than that. Her mentor, that journalist, is firmly determined to investigate Akademi. Clearly, he must have asked his apprentice to return here to be his eyes and ears. The two of them have been interviewing students, and they've learned something. Things tend to happen to girls who have a crush on a certain boy at school. My senpai. He's become a person of interest to them. And now, that junior detective girl is investigating him, following him everywhere, talking to him all the time. And lately, she's been getting a bit too friendly with him. It's enough to make my blood boil. But as much as I would love to sink a knife into her heart, a violent approach might be a bad decision this time around. She's convinced a bunch of students to patrol the hallways with cameras. Right now, the slightest mistake could cost me everything. This girl. She's probably the most dangerous enemy I've faced so far. But if I could somehow manage to befriend her and put her in debt to me, she could be a powerful ally.